Well, we've been, uh, this is, uh, I guess, the third or fourth generation, really, of a, uh, my uh, great-grandfather was here, but uh, it was more my grandfather that started this farm when he was, uh, when he was about 15, and uh, so then it's been my, uh, my uncle and uh, my dad, they didn't always farm together, but now in the last, uh, the last uh, seven or eight years, we've farmed together uh, as, uh, as one operation under Legacy Ag. And uh, uh, there must be some efficiencies to having like a, a cooperative farm like that, if I can refer to it as a cooperative. Yeah, that's the that's the intention. It really it's it's a matter of uh, of uh, utilizing uh, the resources that we have most efficiently, and and uh, also um, working together in, in order to you know uh, get a lot of the, the work done. And it's also very much a succession plan uh, for the future. Okay, how much land do you farm? Well, we're uh, uh, should be around 12,000 acres seeded this year, but uh, as uh, each rain passes, I guess we get a little skeptical if we're going to accomplish that. Uh, it's been a few years actually since we've uh, been able to seed it. Okay, yeah, now you were on the field uh, a little bit up until I guess uh, last week when we got pounded pretty good in this area. Yeah, we had very good conditions uh, uh, just over a week ago. We had uh, just kind of got rolling and. Uh, it was still a little wet in a few places, but from what we've seen in the past three or four years, we uh, actually thought it was very good conditions. And uh, it's been a little discouraging to see uh, everything get as wet as it has in the last couple of days again. But uh, I guess we always have to be optimistic. We, if we see a few more sunny days like this, uh, we'll be certainly back at it. So you were seeding grain when you were able to get some, some uh, work in? Yes, we had seeded some wheat. Uh, that was, uh, I guess, our plan this year because uh, initially it was earlier. We were going to put all of our wheat in and then and then switch over to canola. And I guess at this point that's probably still our plan. If we can seed wheat within the next week, we'll uh, we'll put all of our wheat in and then switch over to canola. Now we're 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 still relatively early. It's uh, still the, the first uh, week in May, but. Uh, I know that land has to dry out a little bit before you can get on there again. Uh, is there, does, does it get to be a concern when you get to the middle of May that you're just starting to uh, do your canola? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of a concern. I mean, we would, I would always like to uh, feel like we're a step ahead and rather than a, a step behind. But uh, I think we'd be pretty comfortable at this point if we could be into canola by the middle of May, even even if we were doing canola by the 20th of May, but we're able to continue